Okay, go ahead. Pull it. Did it go anywhere? <laughs> I didn't see anything. <laughs> Can you look at that bead yeah. and put that bead on the bottom of that circle on this side? I'm going in the middle. No, on the bottom of that circle. My face. Well, it's not going to hurt your face. Okay, you ready? Is it ready to be? No. Get your finger off of it. Put your finger right here. No, put your finger there. Now, put your edge of your finger on and let us know when you're ready. Okay. Pull. I think I hit something. <laughs> I didn't think you, I don't think you hit anything. Well, there it looks like. No. Didn't even hit it. Well, there's a couple. No. Where's the thing? That would make, it would make big giant marks in it. Just like I made. Here. Mom, well, you're not. These are new. No, yeah. that's not. See that deck? No. I think I did Right, that. right there? No. What we're going to do. I'm not doing it anymore. Yeah, you are. Uh-uh. I don't want to do it anymore. That's too hard. That's not too hard. Too hard. <laughs> Get that one. Mom thinks it's too hard. Well, what is she gonna do when they uh, come through the door? What are they gonna do? What are you gonna do when the rioters come through the door? I don't want to do anymore. <laughs> you don't want. It's too hard. That thing is just too hard to do. Boy, you want to shoot the 12 gauge then? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 10 yards. This is like a tinker toy. 18 and a half inch barrel. Tinker toy. Woo! My God! It kicks like a mule. I need that pair of mouse. I got a good pair of those. They're good. Okay, let's see how Dad does. Which side did you Get, shoot? I shoot at this side. You okay. shoot that side. Gary said. The Marine could kick the Air Force guy's butt in shooting. That's what Gary said. Woo! <laughs> That's a kick. I know. Okay. Go ahead, eject it and break it open. All right. Pull, pull it on out. Well, let's go see how we did. Because that's the whole purpose here. We're trying to pattern this. All right. I'm trying to pattern this shotgun. This is not going exactly as planned because I, I wanted to. the Air Force One. Would you say the Air Force One? Oh my gosh. Can you see this, folks? I don't know if you can see it. You were high and to the left. And the that's the Marine Corps. That's Marine Corps shooting there. This is Air Force shooting over here, Gary. <laughs> Look at this. I'm right here. Look at that, right on target. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you did good. All right. Let's try it again. This is really neat how they got this. And you get to cover up your shots. Alright. This is pretty cool the way this is. 
I know. This is great. Set up. We're at Jacksonville Clay and Sporting, I believe it's called. Clay and Sporting. This is what, 10 yards? Yeah. That's home, de home defense, I guess. Length. I can tell that was right on. Yeah, it's not too hard from 10 yards. I want to go down and check her. Go down and check it. That's the whole purpose here is to try to pattern these little cheap shotguns. Oh yeah, that one's perfect. And oh, yeah, right this on. one's a little, a little to little, the right. Little, little to the right and a little lower. Hey, you would have taken them out right there. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Now try pulling back the trigger yourself. Take your finger out of here. You right. don't put your finger in there until you're ready. Lift, put your thumb up here and pull this back. No, thumb. Put, pull it back. No, your thumb. Can't you just do this? Pull it back. No. You can't pull that back. Too hard. Okay, point it. Push it back. Okay, don't don't put your finger in there until you're ready to shoot. Now look down and point at that target over there, that circle. Now look down and put the bead. Okay, I'm gonna just shoot it. You it. you may have hit it that time. I hit it that time. I saw it bounce uh, back. That's called the broadside of a barn. Well, no, you I can't think. even do that. Okay, now pull this out. Okay. That's enough for me. My shoulders. All right. Let's see if you hit. Up. Walk up there. Okay. Well, what we're finding out here. I could pull it back. I know, but you didn't. It didn't lock. Mom's having a hard time. Pulling back the trigger even. There you go, you finally did it. Okay. Well, I can't push this off. Well, don't worry about that. So let's uh, let's let this off. Okay, now try it again. Now what's so there hard about that? Okay. Well, I can't bring this thing up. Well, you want to shoot let one more time? Uh-uh, uh-uh, ants are crawling all over my feet. Okay, well mom is having just now, she got to pull the trigger back. So she has serious issues here, but there you go. She's ready to go home already. Already she's ready to go home. Okay, what I did is I bought mom and dad an American Tactical Turkey from Built in Turkey. It says it right here, made in Turkey. 410 up to three and a half inch chambered single shot 18 and a half inch barrel um, shotgun All right very simple you'd think it would be simple but the reason I got it for you push this back it releases just a little nylon stock home defense 410 and then hold this one and then I picked up for myself a 12 gauge in the exact same thing. Now, Dr. Gary Orowalk supplied me with these little, I guess, what do you call them? Shell holders for the 410 and the 12 gauge. Thank you very much, Orowalk. And uh, this is the exact same gun. Basically just home defense, but we just found out I got the wrong size uh, shell. shot shell because this is only for seven. seven and a half, eight and nine shot. And then on the 12 gauge, I got six. I got sixes. And 
he said in case they bounce back because they're too big or whatever. But I just bought a bunch from Wally's World because you can't even hardly get any of these. The assortment is very tough to get. Now these guys all probably reload their own shotgun shells, but not me. I mean, so there you go. Let me try it again. So they work. I mean, I'm at, at 10 yards. I'm hitting anything I point a gun at. Oh, man, I am dead on. Here I am right here. I'm dead on. At 10 yards, this is a very capable little shotgun. That's damn sure. was our big afternoon that was our big afternoon taking mom and dad to the Jacksonville clay target sports here's the sign right there international ski trap five stand all we did was a little patterning board to see how they shot mom punked out after a couple already <laughs> but team jetty wolf we're ready for home defense now i got those two shotguns when did i order those things back in what july i think i ordered those things in mid july and it took all this time we just picked them up from the gun dealer guy yesterday they were a whopping hundred hundred and nine dollars hundred and ten I don't know uh, I think it was uh, might have been free shipping I don't know I can't remember from uh, American Tactical in South Carolina they're just an importer and you could get those on other websites I saw before the woo flu thing and all you could get those for $89.99 is how much you could get those shotguns for. I was talking to a guy there and he's like, I never seen anything like that before. Well, yeah, when your shotgun costs like twelve hundred bucks or more, you're not gonna look at a you know an $89.99 shotgun. But I'll go up there again if I have the right size stuff and maybe try to shoot some you know, clay targets or something like that. Another day. So. When it's not so hot. Oh, when it, mom says when it's not so hot. All right, well, that's what Team Jetty Wolf does on Patriots Day, September 11th, 2020. I want to thank uh, Aura Walk for sending me even a gun cleaning kit for the 410 and the 12 gun, 12 gauge and the shell uh, holders that go on the stocks of both guns. So Warwalk sent me all that and uh, a whole entire hops uh, shotgun cleaning kit. So I appreciate it, Warwalk. And if you ever come down this way, I'll take you to this place. Jacksonville Clay Target Sports. Really cool place. Nice brochure. 178 acres with a pond. Sitting around the house. Got nothing to do. I think I'll go fishing. Scare away the blues. I'm going.